Grumble, 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 grumble. Yeah. Grumble, grumble, grumble. Moving, moving, waking, waking, bacon, bacon, waking, bacon, waking, waking. Or something like that. How's it going today, Ross? TV huh? It's what? going pretty good, though. Not really. I'm tired. <laughs> That's not mad. That doesn't necessarily mean things are going bad because you're tired. People are, people are tired. Now you're leaving, though. Where are you going? You know, that's a valid point. I suppose in the end, maybe everybody doesn't want to want to watch Spin City with me. I do. I but... love Spin City. <laughs> like, I love Spin City. It's so, a good show. Okay. Real quick. But ever since I've read that study about the uh, the way the chemicals in your brain and body works when you watch like an old show that you like. Right. Like, I embraced that. Right. That means so I could go see old friends that aren't going to judge me. <laughs> I'm afraid of judgment. That's why right. I'm constantly afraid of judgment that I'm, I'm getting it wrong. Or... Me too, man. It's, it's probably one of my biggest fears. Well, it's because, the biggest. It's the. Yeah. Yeah. I try to live compassionately. So when I get it wrong, I, I, I feel bad. Most fear, I say, is fear of judgment. Most mm -hmm. of it. Like socially, if you're afraid of social interaction and and going to see people even if it's even if it's a situation where you know you're comfortable and you know you're you usually have fun oh. sometimes it's scary oh god yeah you know well we were just talking about that so yeah those aren't paying attention to an interview yeah part of your anxiety today is the first interview that yeah you, you'll be doing as opposed to i'll be doing i'll be doing an interview popping one's cherry as <laughs> one does that's one way to put it well the question I'm asked the most is, okay, I don't understand what you're doing. Mm. What What is it you're trying to do? What is it you're doing? Or simpler. Lived in the studio for nine months. Mm -hmm. You've created music, shows, done all of this. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go back again to tell us your studio story, your experience. My studio story? Yeah, sure. That one of the things that I feel comfortable in admitting, I don't think of you as any different than trying to tell other people stories. Mm. That I wanted to create a space where people felt safe enough mm -hmm. to share their story. All right. You don't feel safe anywhere. Um, I've always thought of the idea that, of course, you're going to be successful and you're not ever, not always going to want to sleep in the basement, mm -hmm. but I'm sure somebody else will. <laughs> no, no, no. In the, yeah. not like in the sense of sometimes an artist needs a bed to sleep on so they can get their shit together. So they can get their art. Yeah. It doesn't matter the kind of art. Yeah. You know, I didn't, in a world where what happens is people struggle so hard that they never get to find their voice. Mm -hmm. If people want to understand what they're about creating a place, find their voice. I would say I would say that a lot of a lot of life is right place, right time. Mm -hmm. And I happened to meet you when I was looking for a studio. Right. And I I had my eyes on a studio, but I didn't have the courage to go speak to them or call them or any of that. Because you were worried about judgment. I was worried about judgment. I was also worried about money at the time. And that's the difference. Um, in, in my head, that's the difference about what we're doing. Yeah. Like, I, I had a guy, well, I, I get excited about the music. Um, And I'll be talking to people outside. And the guy's first question, because he's done some stuff, is the same question everybody always asks. Mm -hmm. How much? Right. I don't have a how much. Mm -hmm. I have a this is my home. You that don't know, I introduce you. I, I invite you into my home. It really is my home. My office is not hidden in some building somewhere. It's actually <laughs> the, the bottom floor of this house is the floor house. Mm -hmm. Except for about a quarter of it dedicated to laundry is dedicated to. Mm -hmm. 
to creating a space where I am so exposed uh -huh. on so many levels. I feel like it's okay. Uh -huh. That I'm honest about it being hard. And I talk to people about all the things in the room, about my grandchildren and about family. And those are meaningful things to share to me because what I'm sharing is my space, my home. Uh -huh. And I'm sharing it because I think it's the most important thing I can do. Uh -huh. it, I think when I look out at the world, I saw people unseen. When I went into therapy, what I saw was people unseen. That, shoot, when I was in customer service running all over the country or whatever, what I saw was people that felt unseen. No, I'm trying to express what my problem is with it. Right. So, it was always build a studio. People will look at me and go, well, yeah, but you were doing a podcast. I'm right here. I'm still doing that. Uh -huh. I've never been a single nut. I've always hated that. So there have been moments in my life I've been magic for people, been the drug guy for people, the sex guy for people, the shoulder to cry on for people. I've been a lot of things. Uh -huh. I desperately want to just be me. I think everybody desperately wants to be themselves. I think so, too. I think the most meaningful thing I can do is reach out, let people be heard. It. No, let me speak! No, I'm just playing. I'm just joking. What do you want to say? <laughs> what do you want to say? You can say anything you want. Um. <laughs> Shit. Say what you're gonna say, man. <laughs> say what you wanna say. Shh. And let the okay. speak. Anyways, you're not even gonna um, what you're gonna say. Wow. I'm wow. gonna say. I'm gonna say. Seven eight nine. Seven eight nine. That's my big revelation. Is that seven eight nine? Yep. Yep. That right there. <laughs> Why six was scared? Huh? Why six was scared? <laughs> I think they're scared of seven, but not as much of uh, as as five. I have taken you enough places. There's no way you have ever any memory of any thought in your head at this point. Nah, no, 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 no. I don't. I don't. It's okay. And that's okay. It's okay. That's human. That, and one of the things, as people watch this show, they go, "What are you doing?" There are days that we don't know what we're doing. <laughs> Well, my, no, I always know what I'm doing. Yeah. I said yeah. we. I said I know. we. I know. Collectively. <laughs> well, the, the reason there are silly days, there are serious days, there are everything in between days, because that's what life actually looks like. Everything we watch, everything we see is so fake. Right. We're trying to keep up with people's Facebook lives. We're trying to keep up with sitcoms. We're right. trying to keep up with a corporately driven world. Right. That wants to see us as customers, as something to sell something to. I'm not selling anything. People want me to sell things. I'm not selling anything. Not buying anything. Anything. I don't want you to buy anything. Okay, I want you to give me money. I don't want you to buy anything. Because I don't want to do that. Uh -huh. It's not meaningful to me. Having isn't meaningful without giving, and all I want to do is give. I think you're devaluing what this is by saying you're not selling anything. How am I devaluing it? It sounds it sound it might sound weird, Man, but no, I, I, it, okay, go ahead. It, but I disagree. It wrongly. It's a different thing than what the world has. To say am that am I trying to sell an idea? Is that what you mean? So to speak, yeah. 
I am trying to. That doesn't mean that doesn't mean you're trying to make profit, so to speak. So and that's why but... no. So I'm not selling things. Right. If I'm not trying to take something from other people, I'm not selling things. Am I trying to take? I some... don't think. No, selling things is taking. No, okay. selling things is giving someone something in exchange for something else. That's what selling things is. Yeah, I have something. I want your things. The, 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 I don't want I this thing. I have something. I know that you have a thing that you're willing to so give you're me selling for this it, thing. You're selling it to them, right? I don't see what the I. It's it's hard for me to see a problem in that. I I I get. I don't. The I don't get it. The system is broken. I'm not selling shit. I'm okay. giving it away. They've created a system where I can give it away, and we might be able to do it because of the fact that the corporations are so ridiculously in need of content. That they're literally handing out money on every platform so that they can sell their advertisements. I'm not selling anything. I, I bow of poverty. I don't want a dime for me. I'm not selling anything. I'll give away. I'll try to share. I'll try to see the world. I'll try to show the world itself. No, all I can do is share. And no, I'm not selling. And that's the difference, and that's what fucks with everybody. That's it, right there. It's why musicians come here and go, what's the catch? Okay. It's why other people still look at it as, okay, but yeah, in the end, what we're doing is selling something, and how are we going to make money? Right. I don't want to sell anything uh -huh. i'll put up my cute designs on clothing and if people want to buy them from someone else that's fine but really i'm just making cute designs and if you want to steal them steal them you want to write a big b on your shirt and call it your studio 586 b shirt i'll be right there with you uh -huh. I want to hear. When I say make noise, be heard, I'm not talking about my noise. I'm talking about their noise. And the noise is endless. Uh -huh. The world is loud and unhappy and full of anxiety and uncertainty. Everybody's selling something. How am I going to get mine? I could get mine, man. Where's mine? Literally, we have a war going on that is about the wealthiest people in the world getting theirs. Oil prices are through the roof. All of the most, all of the wealthiest oligarchs in the world are quite happy. This is a game. We're being played. Is it a um? Is it an oxymoron to say? I'm happy with what I have, but I want more. Well, an oxymoron would be like military intelligence. It's like a short oh my thing. God. That, well, no, but that's that's the example I always use because it's the idea oh that it's the opposite, it, like giant shrimp. It says big and small in the same. Technically, thing. Yeah. yeah. Military intelligence suggests that. Okay, I don't. I can't. I can't abide by that. What I got too many military fam members, man. No, no, I agree. No, smart no, 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 I agree. But no, that's a, that's a, they, and they will agree to that joke. That's an old military joke. That's 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 a military joke. I told that joke because most of the military is not in military intelligence, and most of the military that's in not in military intelligence thinks military intelligence is idiots because that's who sends you to the wrong place did you really? follow it? yeah right that, that's those those are the people that said they knew okay i don't know anything i ain't selling anything i don't know anything okay. 25 years i sat and tried to figure out if i was supposed to somehow get the message out that we were supposed to hear each other and see each other listen to each other right how do that how do you change the world first off and not get called crazy immediately you better go get your your crazy checked 
-hmm. If you start thinking somehow you're supposed to change the world, go get your crazy check. Mm -hmm. You look at people and go, this is crazy. I need to go get my crazy check. Right. Then you go get your crazy checked, and those people look at you and go, you're not crazy. You need to go change the world. Mm. First thing you have to do, build an audience and a brand. We'll have to see you enough. Right. Which is scary, but it's a step. It isn't a destination. Right, I get it. None of this is a destination. I don't I work it. in destinations. I'm right here. Present. Present with the people we talk to. Present with you. Present with the people we bring into the studio. Present. Trying to create a place where heard. Where they feel like somehow, even if they're not one of the people we're interviewing, like they're somehow a part of this. Like somehow it relates to their thought. That where's the line? Mm -hmm. is about the realization that most of the resentment we go through every day is about things we never mentioned. Most of the resentment. That's, what, that's where the resentment comes from, yeah. That's... And so people sit there and go, I'm angry that you didn't see me. That you didn't hear what I wasn't saying. That's literally right. what they say. Yeah. I mean, they don't say it that way because that sounds pretty ridiculous. Why right. didn't you hear what I didn't say? But in nature um so from our perspective we see stuff and we're wondering why other people didn't see it mm. that's because that's your perspective mm. guess what it lies to you it loves you so much it will change the world mm. and that's the trap i don't i think never mind <laughs> Never mind. You were going to defend your perspective, weren't you, buddy? Well, I was kind of. So what I said to a friend the other day, when three blind mice find an elephant, they all find a different reality. But that doesn't change that there's still an elephant in the room. Yeah. It does. So people make the mistake of going, well, so are you saying my experience isn't legitimate? And what I said. I said your perspective will mess with it to fit your thought process because your brain tries to avoid cognitive dissonance. Yes. Hard part is creating a space where you can peel off the bits mm. because it just happened. Yeah. We were having a conversation about perspective mm -hmm. and you thought about your perspective and you started to say something and then you thought about it and said, yeah. Part of you is like, yeah, perspective will fuck you up. You're right. A little bit, yeah. It, yeah. From time to time. Not an egg. Humpty Dumpty, not an egg. Not an egg, never an egg. Your entire life, egg. Yeah. All eggs. These are eggs. I can tell they're eggs. Nixon. Humpty Dumpty. Nixon. Was an egg. And I didn't break it. Nixon. Not a president. No. I did not break that egg. I did not. I will not lie to you about the end. It was a cannon. Did he really do that? He did. He did. <laughs> like, God. <laughs> Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love, my friend. And that's how it happened, too. He thought, oh, if I just go out there and tell them peace, they will love me. <laughs> but watch out for those Beatles. Watch out for those those Beatles are mad. A little paranoid. No. A little paranoid. Just a little paranoid. I can't do the Nixon is good. <laughs> it's in you the jowls, you know. You got to. Yeah, yeah, it's in the jowls. It's I in the jowls. It's taken me years to have the jowls. It's <laughs> the upside of being, anyways. Being an old man gives you jowls. Can do a Nixon and a Winston. <laughs> I was watching the Atkins diet guy. God, that's so horrible. The so, Adkins Diet Guy? Yes. Once upon a time, I knew him as the Republican National Committee horn tape guy. What? <laughs> what? The RNC. No, no. no. What? 
<laughs> we're we're not gonna me. explain that, but we're gonna you talk about that out fair. I'm gonna ask you, you about that later. Me. You <laughs> hate me. I don't even think his name, and all you remember is that. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, but we're gonna talk about that later off air. <laughs> I need to. Why can't I think of his name? <laughs> it's it's so wrong. <laughs> So the Atkins diet guy. The Atkins diet guy. Okay. Owls yet. <laughs> I'm I am, damn. Yeah, I think he's, God, he's such a pretty man, too. And I can't think of his name. That's okay. He's a pretty man that is on Atkins, but he lives the Atkins lifestyle. Oh, okay. He says, go here free. Yeah. He's right. That we eat way too much. What's the what's the Atkins diet? Atkins is you cut out the, key, the uh, carbs. The carbs are what are killing you. We're, we're a bi-fuel device. Mm. People don't realize that. We, we can run on grains or oils. Or, okay. Grains we can or run oils. on fat or we can run on carbohydrates. Okay. Get us to run on fat, you got to take away the carbohydrates. To get us yeah. to run on carbohydrates, you got to take away the fat, probably. Well, the, it's one of those two. <laughs> or both. No, here's the thing. Fat got demonized in our country. Okay. That's why everything's so sweet. Yeah, it they uh replaced the oils it with was sugars. The, it was the sugar companies. It was the sugar companies. <laughs> they made us watch a lot of videos about that, man. They were like, the sugar companies lied to everyone, okay? Sugar is the problem. They were teaching that in school, by the way. This yeah. is why I don't want to sell anything. Mm. Here's what happened with sugar. You're selling something. Mm. The market starts to go away. And the thought isn't how do we screw with them? It's, it's how we sell more of this thing. How do we take care of all these people that work for us in all of these countries? Mm. It it has a bigger of it's. So what happens is you get lost in the selling, lost in the sauce, man. Absolutely, that you're so busy trying to protect mm -hmm. your bottom line. I want that. <laughs> Do you, how can I tell you all one more time? I don't want to sell anything. I reach out to friends and family and try and grow our network. Don't get me wrong. That's happening. Mm -hmm. It's happened consistently, and that's been the method I've used. Mm -hmm. You know that... Thank you, Denise Lascano. She shared our stuff to 30,000 people this week. Thank you, Joker Joker TV, for reaching out to us and wanting to, you know, highlight one of our videos. Thank you to, oh my God, the all of the people I am talking to about upcoming. About coming on so we can see. And so then everybody goes, Ooh, so is that all you're doing? No? No, actually, we still have more time dedicated to music than we do interviews or podcast. Um, doesn't mean we use it every week, but we do have set aside time. Yeah, that's, that's going to become public soon. That's going to become a place where in Columbus, at least one day a week. Yes, you get a hold of us. I'll talk to you. Either we'll do it on. A, I, I don't care. We're going to do some music. Yeah, we're we won't get some music. We do some. We love our old blood, but we always, you know, new blood adds a new perspective. Something different. Every time, the more people I meet, the more I see the elephant in the room. But it's a new piece. Mm. It's a new piece. And I'm I'm on the debate. I'm on the fence again about afterlife. And I, I had already decided I wasn't dealing with that. <laughs> I had a friend said the same thing. I don't know about that, but I listened to that. And that's, whoa, okay, maybe. Yeah, I usually, I, I listen to most people most people's opinions on life i don't i like i like to hear what people have to say about life because there's not a doubt in my mind that they've seen something that i haven't it doesn't mean that they're right it doesn't mean that they're wrong it just means that they've seen something that i haven't and it's different from what i know so <clears throat> i might as well take the time to figure out what they what their perspective on it is well and just because they see it different doesn't mean they're not seeing something different. Exactly. They could be seeing the same That's thing in a different the fight. way. That's it's... where we endlessly get into the fight. They could be seeing a six. I could be seeing a nine. It's it's the Remember, same thing, but it's... Why you got to be dirty? Why you got to go there? 
Y'all know what I'm talking. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know I wasn't thinking that. Y'all know I wasn't thinking that. Okay. We all heard it. No. He said maybe you're a six. No. Maybe I'm a nine. No. It's weird. <laughs> I don't date Who's sixes. Who's on first? I'm the six. <laughs> I'm just playing. I don't date sixes. I date three. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> I am very married. No, but, but it, it's really like when you look at something, it could be one thing. If you turn around and look at it a different way, it's another thing. Even though it's the same thing, you're looking at the same exact thing. So, like, and that's why we are Studio 586B. Want to point our spotlight stars. And share shared experience, a real view on people that unites as opposed to separates, that shows how much we have in common in pulling the very things that we don't have in common. Mm. That maybe, maybe somebody out there hears me and then they point their spotlight up at the sky. What if we had resources, not corporately controlled, yet paid for by corporations, where we offered real discourse and communication and a space where we can exist and hear each other? There you go. That sounds like a dream I, I like. I'm saying I'm a romantic. <laughs> you know, I don't usually like the word that follows this. I didn't say it. Or the phrase, I guess. He I didn't, didn't say, say it. it. No, no he didn't say it. No, 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 no. No boy war. There it goes. I'm telling you, Doug Stanhope, the unbearables. The roughest two hours. Unbookables. It is unbearable. <laughs> It'll be the roughest two hours of comedy you've ever watched. Man, it hurts. <laughs> I mean, like, literally. Nah, that's painful. It's, it's painful it's... to watch them go through the process. Yeah. That's how you know it's art. That's how you know this no, is cause... art. And that's how you know what he's doing is art. Because I'm telling you, we are working at this day after day. Because we want to show you not only who we are, but who you are. We want to tell you it's okay. I see you and you're human. We're human. Oh. Listen to somebody else today. Ooh, Hear somebody. Who are you? Look in a mirror and see yourself. You're absolutely right. I've always said, Townsend and Roger Daltrey's ears, who the <laughs> are you? I love the chorus because yeah. they, they get pretty, but who are you? Yeah. I want to know you. You, you. I want you, you to know me. You. I want you to meet my friends. I want to keep saying that to the entire world. No reason for it not to be. No soldier out there today fighting for something other than just hope. No soldier is hoping they get sent somewhere to kill other people. Okay, there may be. I'm not. <laughs> the, the humans involved with the things were being crushed by the weight of how we be. Mm. They need seen too. Yeah. How would you feel? If you woke up this morning, Eastern Ukraine. How how would I feel? Hey, we're the army, and guess what? We're conscripting you. It's time to go get your uniforms on. We're gonna go fight Ukrainians. But I'm Ukrainian. I don't. Don't doesn't matter. I've got a gun to your head. No, I you don't, don't have a think, choice. I don't think feelings have much to do. With how I'd react to that. Well, but all you can. One of the things that's been most noticeable about this is getting conscripts into the. Right. So you've got the Ukrainians that are the Ukrainian people fighting for their freedom. Totally I get understandable. It. And then you have young men or age mm -hmm. woken up by a pounding on their door in the morning mm. and a searching of their house. Okay. Or men of age die for. Even though. We're technically in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Technically, gonna fight Ukrainians. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah, 
So my point is, Nazis did stuff like that. Well, they I mean, would. No, they that, used. That's, they used. That's no, I'm saying they. That's Actually, a war the thing. Weren't as bad. That's for a it. war thing. But as far as cons, well, yeah. Well, they. There was a draft here. Yeah. Yeah. No, we had a draft too. Yeah. It's not a big deal. Yeah. All of that. We do that. The fact. No, we don't. No, I'm not. Not us. We I'm did, saying... and he's doing it now. Yes. That was the point. Yes. It's not uncommon in. I hate the phrase third world countries because it's kind of meaningless anymore. It used to be. People don't realize third world country was first world was uh, influenced by the United <laughs> States. Second world influenced by the Soviet Union. Third world was not influenced. Mm. Now we use it to mean countries that don't have anything because guess what? You didn't get paid off by Uncle Sam or Uncle Putin. Uncle mm. Vlad. Uncle something other than him. But anyways. Mm -hmm. We... Can only combat this fire that we see in the world at the edges and the way we build a break is arm in arm in seeing each other going no more I see you I don't see you as my enemy I don't see the imaginary lines that are about power or what team say you're on I know that's meaningless. I know it's insane. It's led to every war we have. Me versus you. Right. I want what you have. Right. I'm selling something. That whole thing. I want... Whole kit and caboose. Right. I want no part of that. So, 586B stories that we're trying to raise money is a 12-month program document and take in as many stories from as many people and places as possible to expose ourselves as the same. Huh? As I travel across the interverse, I don't see a bunch of different people. I see a bunch of people attached to the things they defend against each other as they say the same things. Everybody's saying the same thing and then fighting about it. Mm. We should all just get along. Well, yeah, but my way. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> my, my cousin used to say this thing that he used to say that the only way the world could ever, um, <clears throat> the only way the world could ever be unified is if, is if, um, God came and ruled. And I said, only if everyone believed in him. And it just, it, it's, it's, if, if we could get it out there just a basic idea of just no matter what you believe or no matter who you are try and treat people with kindness and respect treat their perspective as their perspective treat your perspective as your perspective I'm telling you don't trust it the first trick to being able to see other people's perspectives mm. is admitting that yours is not infallible yes do you know what i mean it's not okay it's not to I, say I, I joke about it's this. not to say you can't lean on the things that you know, but it but it is to say it is to say to lean on it. it is to say you can't just fall on them. Like you well, can't you can't you can't. I, I'm, I wanna so as we, you can't you can't have your opinions be your only guiding light. It can't be. You have to choose. You have to to choose to listen. You you have to you have to listen to what other people have to say. You have to figure out if you are yeah. actually right. You have you to have decide. To yes. Well, no. Constantly reevaluate. Constantly test. Constantly figure it out. Constantly. You have to decide. You don't know anything in the sense that you have to test everything every time. Exactly. <laughs> See, we were almost disagreeing, but we really weren't. So but we weren't. I've exactly been on him. He's getting closer. <laughs> He's almost there. He's at the point of, okay, yeah, I got to admit that maybe my perception doesn't know everything. 
<laughs> my precious. It's my precious. Don't take my precious from me. It is my perception. My precious. My precious. <laughs> Or bad hobbitses. Bad hobbitses. <laughs> that is what he said, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> and that's what it's had to I never thought about that. That's funny as heck. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny thing. So I will post a picture of one of my things. Uh -huh. I don't do shrines, guys. I, I refer... I call them shrines because in Buddhist communities, it's common to build shrines. And I kind of do. I build tableaus. Um, but I have a lot of places where I have Buddhas around my house. Uh -huh. And occasionally, I set them up in a way that is meaningful to me. So that when I see them, I think about it. That's all. That's really what they're there for. We should go through and take pictures of all your Buddha statues. Well, but so, anyways, go. So here's an interesting thing. So the one I share the most has a picture of a thermos. Right. Like, it's an old, if you were going, you know, I had... I'd go off and build buildings in New York in the 1940s. And I got a metal thing, and I got yeah. my big metal. It's it's the old the green metal one with a giant thing on top. Great for soup or hot yeah. coffee, um, or cold drinks. But it was hot coffee because we were men in the 1940s. I was not alive <laughs> in the 1940s. There's a Buddha with okay. his hands up in the air in prayer or whatever, or in I'm excited. Not admittedly, he was a drink from a bar. <laughs> he has a hole in his belly where his yeah, between his Buddha boobs um, where the straw is supposed to go so you put a mixed drink in the back of it but anyway okay. he also lived in a fish tank for a long time <laughs> next to it he, he lived died. in a fish tank which one? with Clyde forever he, he oh. stood, there's pictures of I would look but I'm not there's okay, pictures okay. of yeah. Clyde swimming Clyde and goldfish and there's a Buddha in the middle okay um, next to that there's a giant jack um, for anybody who's ever played jacks as a kid, it's where you bounce the ball. Oh, that one was in the gotta... tank? No, the jack was not. The, no, no, the no. Buddha I, the, the Buddha over there, yeah. So, and then when you add the jack, so you've got work, pray, play, right? Mm -hmm. But next to it is Bilbo Baggins and Gollum. Bilbo and Baggins. A skeleton. Skeleton is. Nothing's permanent. Everything passes. Bilbo is. Chase the ring. Don't chase the attachment. Don't sell anything. Shouldn't shouldn't Gollum be the, the don't up. chase the ring? He's he, both he's up. chasing no, that pretty hard, no. man. Bilbo, by the time he gives Bilbo's up the, chasing no, it too. The point yeah, is Bilbo, but... by the time he gives up the ring, doesn't want to give it up. It's already started mm, to change him. I get you. Gollum is as far gone as you can get chasing after the gold. Okay. Chasing the money. So it should go. It should go. Then what happens is you're the sugar company. So you should go Bilbo, then Gollum, then Skeleton. I, I don't. Right? I, is I that, just. I, 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 I just look at it and know what it means. <laughs> okay. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm spelling it out in a way that. <laughs> but um, the point is, all of those things are like, okay. And if you go to our 10 questions we're doing currently with you, we're going to do another one today with your cousin, Courtney. Yes. Those questions, to some extent, come from over there, too. How do you work? How do you play? How do you pray? That I tried. So when I try to share my perspective, and I spend a lot of time doing it. I try to share it in a way that's kind of open to the idea of I'm not attached to what it means, my own perception. Mm. So <clears throat> I'm always telling a story and painting a picture. Mm -hmm. Always trying to be seen as who I am too. All right. And if you want to take meaning out of this, we desperately had moments Felt like we were. Yeah, that's very. Um, it's very true. We've had people make accusations that made us feel even more unseen. There's even two people ashamed. And that shared experience of feeling unseen, then being in a community where you suddenly realized you weren't alone and you were seen. Life changing. I would say so. Yeah. Life changing. It's, yeah. 
yeah it's it's every person that we've interacted with has interacted with us positive or there was i mean there's there's social things that happen you know but there's there's something really dope about being around people who try to see you and try to hear you try to figure out what's going on in your head versus someone who's just chilling doing their thing it, it's 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 very very good to be around people who care because it makes you care it makes you care it's weird people going hey i care about what you feel what do you so tell me about you yeah and then what happens okay the studio here you feel more seen see more right you're not as busy trying to go oh, look at me i need you to see me i need you to see me you'll see I wanted to make a Philip Seymour Hoffman joke so bad, but I couldn't uh, figure out how to yeah, make it work. You know in the end, I, love I couldn't Seymour figure Hoffman. it out. Don't do that man wrong. I couldn't do it. Gone. You know, RIP, man. Um, it is life changing to feel like you. Have... Yeah. Want to understand what? Want to go? So what is Studio Five Eighty Six? It's sharing that experience. Telling you you're not alone. I am here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Just go. Just go. <laughs> Spit your spiel. <laughs> I want to see you. I want you to feel seen. Whether it's that interview you or whether it's in sharing our interviews with other people are open conversations with real humans. We're not gonna get people in here because, oh my God, what can you do for me? We're not gonna get people in here because, oh my God, what a hysterical story. We may run into that. Right. Don't be wrong, we're doing 10 questions now and we're gonna do deeper interviews. Some of them may feel that way. Right. But the first step with anybody, go through those 10 questions. Ask yourself those 10 questions. Ask yourself, feel a little more seen because you see yourself. Where are you from? How do you work? The huh? How do you play? How do you pray? What do you love? Uh -huh. What are you afraid of? What do you think you know? I know he thinks he's he, these deep ass questions, right? I'm saying. And what do you <laughs> wish you knew? What do I wish I knew? I've shared today why I'm here. I wish I knew where our audience why we're was. Here. I you can know? go poke him on the shoulder and say, "Hey, hey, hey!" hey. <laughs> Let's share that. Want us to be loves and that for me artists bring they're more than willing to show their perspective in a world where I don't trust my own and I'm I don't know any hear that. Anxiety. Bye, people. I don't know if they heard that. <laughs> That's all. <laughs>